example. Okay, we have a big one this day. This is the Harry Potter um, Hogwarts Great Hall. I got it last year. It's now exactly one year ago. <laughs> but uh, now I will use it for a, a small Christmas uh, a table where I, you know, like... Uh, here in uh, Europe, it's... Uh, I, I, in the Netherlands, I usually... we have like... A table with a small Christmas village with like a snow blanket and fake snow and all, everything lighting. And I just do it after the year with uh, Lego. Every time it's a little bit different. And um, last year it was a bit too crowded, so I uh, I kept this one for the next time. So this time, and this time it will be a Harry Potter themed uh, Christmas whatever stuff on the table. Well, you can see all the everything that's uh, going on, you know, like uh, the, the staircase and back here the yeah the stuff from the movie and that you can uh, connect it with um, different sets nowadays there's already another sets uh, to connect it to as well right i heard there's a lot of uh, awkward stickers in it so uh, ugh, please bear with me i will open this thing and then uh, look uh, what um, oh i need uh, I have scissors. something for my work a screw. Okay, it works. Fine. So, ha. Okay. Aha. Well, for me, it's a long time ago that I opened a really big box, so I really don't know. Damn. Okay, this is a lot. I don't know why they packed the instruction manual, but there's also stickers. It's not too many, but it's too many. All right. So we have one, two, three, four. Five, six cents. These are also packed, but I don't know why. I mean, it's like three of those, but it's packed. They're out of the mind. And then there's people that complain about uh, too much plastic. People complain about Lego. I mean, Lego, if you have complaints that you, you're a company that uses plastic toy and oil and blah up and then hmm how could we reduce plastic I mean you shouldn't reduce it with a toy but you could like reduce this or this I mean damn doesn't this fit in here or, or don't use plastic you know the um, I remember when I was a kid in the 90s if there were there were pieces in boxes that were just in the box without any plastic, like the you had like a piece of plastic for the small part, but here there's even in the plastic a plastic bag with the small parts in the plastic bag. So yeah, well, okay, I'm gonna put it together and then uh, we'll have a look when it's finished. Haha. <laughs> Okay, I managed to finish it. First, I'm going to take a look on the figures with uh, Riley Granger. Well, okay. They all, most of them have like uh, scared faces. As you can see here with Hermione. Oh, this hairpiece is like the slightly soft one. Right. Okay, here we have uh, nearly headless Nick, with Professor McGonagall. Even nearly headless Nick has uh, a, a less happy face. Hagrid for me was uh, really special because I never had uh, 
uh, bigger thingy before just to show you with the arms how this is how it works you just have to put it together this way with a techn technic piece all right i like the umbrella we have uh, professor dumbledore who also is like a a less uh, happy face Professor Quirrell with his uh, with the Dark Lord on his back. Ah. You shitting me? Godverdomme. This is fucking shit. Okay. These two. Ronald, which is red, and Hedwig. Oh, and uh, the Basilisk, which is brick built. I'm not a fan of brick built animals, but yeah, I don't know. Lego also needs to save money, so it seems. Oh, we also get the boat. But it didn't come with. Um, I don't know. Oh, in the movie, maybe they don't have to just magically, magically reboot. Right, can look at the house. It's a great hall. From the outside, it looks marvelous. Lots of little pieces that you have to put together. Some new ones for me, of course. The difference in this one, there's like it's all like mini miniature pyramid pieces. Could use them for Indiana Jones. Um, these things. I think they're for, for skiing. What I was very fond of was these uh, really small uh, miniature fears. Okay, from here we can see the clock, that's a sticker. And you can open the doors here. There's, uh, well, in the inside, we're gonna look in a moment. This is the, the docking for the, for the boat. It's quite small. I'm not too happy about that, but yeah. I mean, they could have used like a like a bigger brown player. Uh, it's Lego, 2020, uh, 2008. No, it's modern Lego. Okay, this tower is really big. So that's it. That's it. All right, we're gonna look at uh, the inside. Well, we're gonna first look at the tower. All right. This is the magical um, mirror. I'm not sure what this was in the English version. These are stickers, of course, all of them. And you can also yeah, change it out like a window. Here we have one with Ronald with uh, the cup of Quidditch, and here Professor Krill with um, the Philosopher's Stone. And behind is the, um, the Phoenix, which is also brick built. I don't really like the brick built there. I Remember, I think several years ago they had, um, you know, like not brick built, but kind of this Phoenix. I don't really know, but yeah, never seen it in real, but I think it was it that way. One floor down, we have the sorting hat, which is actually the face kind of thing on it. A Lovely spider. Here is uh, it's full with uh, stones. One of them is red, probably a philosopher's stone. Who knows? One more down. We have uh, potions and whatever. I really like this um, leather. When I put it together, it it felt like those Domino Express pieces. Can't take one out now, but it's like. You know, if you have several in your hands, and it's well, they're, not, they're hollow also from the other side, so it's you know, like that's it. The domino pieces, basically. Small broom. All right. And a, and a bit because here inside, and it's um, it's a yellow frog, which I thought was quite funny. Okay, I'm gonna put this one down, and we're gonna look. 
what we actually have in the hall. Oh, by the way, I look this window parks. It took a while to make it, but yeah, I like this very much. The light a little bit better. These are stickers. You can turn them around, of course. I don't like the fact that we have to turn it around. I, I really liked when we had like, you know, uh, each of them on their own plate and you could have them everywhere. Now it's just two with, nah, doesn't make really, really much sense, but okay. In dining hall, well, all this stuff is like, you know, in the instruction manuals it says like, uh, you gotta put it here, it, it doesn't matter where you put it. I mean, Dumbledore like sweets. He can have it. At his chair. He fits. Yeah, okay. He can also sit right here if he wants to. Doesn't matter. Cup of tea, a cup, a chicken leg, uh, looks like ice cream. Two more these. There's a nice fireplace. Also, turn them a bit. Ah. I like this chair. You can, well, move it a bit. Oh, by the way, in the back, there's this small cup. It's it's basically this one over there. These candles, so you could move them around if you want. You can also do like this, like in the movies, if you watch them, you know that these candles are always uh, moving around a bit. So that's uh, quite nice. There were some other pieces here somewhere too that were new for me. Maybe not for you, but yeah. I'm of the old fashioned, you know, like 2x4 bricks, which I always used to build and all stuff. Okay. I'm gonna put this for my um, Christmas village kind of stuff thing. I might uh, post a picture of that or make a small video, I don't know, like last year, you know. And see you next time. Does it work with the trusty sword? No.